Hey everybody and welcome back to the Inhabit Mars channel. I know it's been a while since I posted and I really feel bad that it's taken this long to uh, post a video even to update you. I mean I, I should have at least updated but um, the uh, good news is that I uh, because everything slowed down with Uber Eats after everything started opening back up I uh, went ahead and got a job at a warehouse. It's a pretty good job. Pays pretty well and uh Everything's great, except they've been working us six and seven days a week, 10, 12-hour nights. Well, in the last uh, two weeks or so, I finally got on a third shift, which is what I wanted, which is only eight hours a night uh, for six days out of the week instead of 10 to 12-hour nights. Um, I saw this today, and uh, I just wanted to, to share this with everyone. Um, Chris posted a video today, and, and I will post a link. Please go check out his channel. Send some love his way. Uh, he was in the hospital. I think him and his wife, but at least him was in the hospital. But both of them uh, apparently got COVID. I believe this is his second round of COVID. And um, so please, uh, thoughts and prayers to him. He seems to be doing well now. He's getting better. Thank God for him. Uh, unfortunately for us, not that we want to be copycats, <laughs> but apparently we're following in his footsteps again. Um, <laughs> yeah, about a week ago or so, uh, Jenny wound up getting sick. Uh, she got a fever and it started uh, creeping up. Uh, I think one day it was 102 and then the next day it was a... Yeah, it was 104, and she wound up going to the hospital. Um, oh, the joy. Yeah, and then so today was the first uh, appointment that I could get with Walgreens um, to get a COVID test, and guess what? Mm. Well, everybody here is sick, the girls, everyone. Um, and not to take away from Chris because he, he needs your love and prayers too of course but uh <laughs> apparently we're following in his footsteps and uh this is our second round with it um this time i don't think it's quite as bad as the first time of course the first time i also had a sinus infection on top of it so it was really bad and jenny was throwing up all the time well both of us were throwing up all the time but um she was throwing up all the time, and this time she's only thrown up the one day. Uh, the only thing is, now I have not run a fever. Uh, or thrown up. Or thrown up, but uh, I don't know what uh, happened. I went out uh, Monday to uh, feed the girls, and I poured their cereal, opened up the milk, and that's the last thing I remember. I was on the floor. I had smashed my face on our hard tile floor and then jenny came running out there um i sat up during that time thought i was going to be okay and uh i yeah wound up face planting again all right in the same damn spot <laughs> so i've got a knot on my head over here i think i cracked my nose uh it hurts like hell but yeah uh, i'll be all right uh but finally got in Walgreens this was the earliest appointment they had there's apparently no more just drive up and test do you have to schedule an appointment today was the first one and of course I already knew it I have COVID and the entire household has COVID um so we're all the girls have been running a, a fever here and there it's been Jumping up to about 100.7 is about the highest they've gotten. We keep doctoring them. And, of course, the hospital told the same thing. Just just keep, uh, stay at home, isolate, and uh, keep doctoring everyone. And if it gets worse, then bring everyone back in. So that's what we're doing. Hmm. All right. Uh I'm just going to go over this, and then I hope to God, uh, I'm, I'm going to be off work for the next 14 days, so, um, well, 
I don't know if it's 10 or 14 days. I, I gotta wait for my boss to get back to me. <coughs> <coughs> so anyway, this was the model we were working on, the moon model. <laughs> That's taken forever. And I got a little bit more done during all this, but I haven't, you know, gotten everything. So I just want to, um, oops. I just want to go over some things real quick. Okay, we were looking at uh, these buildings here. These were very interesting. Let's see. Grab on the Z. Oops. Not you. Oh, come on. Why won't it just let me grab these? Uh, grab. There we go. Come on. Okay, it's been a while, apparently, since I've worked Blender. But these are some of the buildings we've been working on. And like I said, I haven't gotten a whole lot more done. But uh, you can kind of see the shape of these buildings. And this is what we're looking at here. Let me uh, drop this down. We don't need this. So we can see this back here. And we got it modeled here. That's that building. And we can actually rotate around these. So you can kind of see how they look so I got some of that done and uh, I think we have already gone over this one pretty well right here but just as kind of a refresher that's what that looks like and there's more to this it's more detailed and intricate and I, I don't know I'm running out of memory on my computer when these models get so big it just slows down in fact it crashed the first time I tried to do this because this model's getting pretty big, but there's uh, that building right there is right here. And um, I don't think I got to this part. This is what I'm calling the hospital complex because it really does look like a hospital. And I don't have it rotated right. That's why I'm sure I haven't gone over this one yet. But we'll take a look at it for now. But you see all these buildings that are stepped down. Uh, it's on a hill, and it's it, it's going down like this. We're going to go into that in a, a good bit of detail. But this is kind of what this complex looks like. And, and I don't know if it's actually a hospital or what it is, but uh, it's a big complex. All right? and it even comes down even farther, but this part's in the darkness, so we can't really... All we see is the tops of the buildings here to here. But this part is in the light. And so I've modeled a good bit of that. Mm, that's the shape that they seem to have. And like I say, it's either maybe it's a hospital, office buildings. I don't know. But it even looks like parking lot areas down through here. Uh, you know. Why these things are on the moon, I don't know. But I worked on those. Um, it's just been, like I say, with the stuff at work, it's kind of been slow uh, working on this stuff. There was some stuff back here. I think we already did these. I really don't remember. It's been so long. I'm pretty sure those are like the first ones I did. Let me see. And you kind of see those uh, back there. Hold on. No, I lost them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Grab. Yeah. So that's these back here. I've been working on those. And uh, we definitely did this one already. I remember that. All right. That was that uh, wall with a pipe or something coming out. And so... Um, we got that one done. Let's see. I know there's more that I did. That wasn't the only things. I hope. Either that I've been, I haven't been doing as much as I thought. I tried working on it some throughout all this, but yeah, it's been uh, it's been really busy. 
I'm not used to working 10 and 12 hour days. So maybe that is it. Dang. Thought I got more than that done. Okay, so let's, uh, how we do it on time. Okay, doing pretty good so far. Let's go over to our actual model and just see how we drop these in the model. You know I don't read sign language, right? Oh, it is? No. Oh, well, come show off your shirt or you had it on already. Hmm. I'm just trying to see what I got done because I don't remember. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's the one we got today. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are those buildings actually sitting on the model. And, uh, let's see, did I put the hospital complex in already? Is that it back here? Oh, yeah, this platform is pretty interesting. That and that. These are, I don't think I've I've done these yet. <coughs> I don't think we've talked about these, but I'm going to try. I mean, try. No, the hospital complex isn't there. Those are the first buildings we did. That's right. I remember now. Okay. Yeah, we were working on these. And then the little ship that looks like it's on a platform. Can you see them underneath? Eh, kind of. It would have been better to show them in there, but. Did I get the. I don't think I got the hospital complex in. No, because it would be right here. This would be it. Oh, yeah, I did. There it is. There it is. Okay. So that's basically. Did I get all the buildings? Grab on the Z. Let's move you up. Okay. So hopefully you can see the terrain. If I tab into edit mode, is it going to make it easier? Yeah. Okay. You kind of see the terrain now, how it goes back here and how these buildings will drop in there. All right, so if I go control Z, Z, Z. Yeah, see how slow the computer's running? I probably ought to not make this model any bigger. Okay, let's click on this. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh, I think it's going to crash. But there we go. Uh, we're still recording though, right? Yeah, that's still recording. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to... Oh, there we go. There. So you can kind of see how the uh, buildings drop in and it slopes down like that. The, uh, like I say, I'm just calling it the hospital complex. I don't know what it really is, but at the same time, it's definitely structures and... You know, they got some weird, interesting shapes. Uh, it'd be architecture kind of like you see here on Earth. I mean, it's it's not a whole lot different, uh, especially something like this. It's pretty cool looking. And all these are, are one big giant complex. They're separate buildings, but it's one big giant complex on this uh, hill right here. So... We modeled that as best we could, and uh, like I said, I'd like to put more into this model, but I think we're pretty much at the limits of my computer, so <laughs> I really got to upgrade. I only have 16 gigs of RAM, and I need to upgrade it to 64 gigs and call it a day, then I can handle all this. But listen, you guys, um, I'll try to get make uh, another video once I get back to doing this which should be well I'm not going to be working for the next 10 days I should be able to um, do some modeling this week uh, I haven't been feeling too bad um, Jenny the first few days 
that she got sick. She was feeling really bad, and now she's feeling better. So keep her in your prayers. And, of course, everybody else here has run a fever except me. And I don't know why I haven't got the fever, but I'm not complaining. Uh, I do take a lot of vitamins. Um, I, I take a lot of vitamins now, especially when I... When she started getting sick, I started doubling up on some of my vitamins. So, now I'm back to taking a normal amount because I don't want to keep uh, doubling up. Especially I, now that I know I have it, I just want to maintain what I'm doing. And uh, and we've been drinking a lot of Gatorade and water and stuff like that and keeping the girls well hydrated. Um, so, you guys take care of yourselves. Um, I hope... Nobody else has to go through this, but if you do, you know, hopefully it's not too bad, all right, and then uh, make sure, oh, let me go back here, make sure you check out Chris's channel, and I'll uh, post a link to it, all right, so uh, you guys, enjoy your evening, uh, and I will, I will definitely, I have been watching videos and trying to keep up, uh, Tomorrow I should be I should make the live chat because I won't be working during the live chat for the last month I've been working during the live chat uh, until this last Friday and then um, I had to run Jenny to work on that Friday before that was a Friday before, right before she got sick and then uh, and then when she got sick you know I've been tending to her so I've been trying to catch the replay of the live chats I'm still a little behind but I'm gonna try to catch up on those so you guys enjoy your evening. Uh, we hope to see you soon. Very soon. I hope. <laughs> Good night, y'all.